What's going on guys, Digidestin here, back again with another pick up video for you, and this one is phenomenal. This one is probably the best one of 2018. Very, very excited. Lots of great pickups, and when I say lots, there is a lot. And this is all thanks to uh, our buddy Notorious JJ, who's someone uh, that I stream a lot with on, on Twitch. I uh, play lots of computer games with him, um, as well as my fiance, of course. She always finds all the good stuff. Um, but I want to start with the the number of games that I got from Notorious JJ. The story behind this pickup is uh, Notorious JJ's brother-in-law actually found a whole bunch of um, his brother-in-law's games, the brother-in-law's games, uh, and he didn't need them anymore, so he ended up giving them to JJ. And JJ, knowing that I collect, approached me and asked if I wanted any of it. Of course, I wanted all of it. Um, one game actually went to, to Basic Bits, another great channel. I'll leave all their links in the description below so you can check them out. Um, but the rest of it basically went to me. Uh, there's still part of it that he hasn't sent out. You know, it's a large package, but uh, that that's gonna be saved for a later pickup video. So first thing I want to start out with is a bunch of PlayStation 2 stuff, which is pretty crazy. Uh, and I don't know, I'm still mind blown about the size of this lot that he sent me. All right, so I'm gonna try to go through this uh, fairly quickly because there's a lot of games. Uh, I'm just gonna boom, 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 and hopefully you guys can catch it. If not, pause, fast forward, rewind, all that fun stuff. First game, rhythm game, DDR Max. Fun game right here. Then we have Frequency, another fun rhythm game. Burnout 3, Takedown. Soul Reaver 2, Project Eden. Onimusha, Shinobi. Indigo Prophecy, Haven, Fall of the King, and this one's funny because the cover art is very interesting. A classic, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, I remember playing a lot of this when it first came out. Ligaya 2, I've actually come across this game a lot in the stores, um, I don't think I've ever seen Ligaya 1. A couple of classics here, we have Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, and then Jack and Daxter, both greatest hits. Kingdom Hearts 2. Very timely because Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out pretty soon. Middle Gear Solid 3, Sustenance. Star Ocean, Till the End of Time. Final Fantasy X. This one's a very great one as well. Uh, all of these games are in really good shape. Um, there's like barely any scratches on the plastic. All of them, or the majority of them have their manuals. The discs are flawless. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, we also have Final Fantasy XII, the collector's edition, in the steelbook. This one's pretty cool here. Any fans of Ghosts and Goblins will appreciate this game. This is kind of a spin-off within the same universe. This is Maxmo, Ghost to Glory. If you like Space and Pirates, or Space Pirates, Rogue Galaxy is your game. Odin Sphere. This one's a pretty cool one. Never owned this one before. Following some more RPG action, we have Dot Hack Infection. This is the, the first of the Dot Hack series. Comes with the DVD inside. We have two Ark the Lad games. We have Ark the Lad Twilight of the Spirits and Ark the Lad End of Darkness. Dragon Quest VIII. And surprisingly, this is the first Dragon Quest game that I've owned, like ever. We have four Ratchet and Clank games. This is pretty cool. We have the original Ratchet and Clank, Ratchet and Clank Going Commando, Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. And Ratchet, Deadlocked, they got rid of Clank. All right, we just have a few more PlayStation 2 games. We have uh, Ico, this one's a classic. Uh, if you want, also pick up Shadow of the Colossus. This is kind of made by the same developer, um, but also takes place within the same universe. Uh, there's a lore behind it, I don't quite know, but I know that both games are really good. I played them separately at separate times, uh, and I enjoyed them both. Shadow of the Colossus is actually sealed, as you can see there. It's all dust on it. Um, apparently, Notorious JJ's brother-in-law bought this game and just never found the time to open it or play it. We have Dark Cloud. We have two Shining Force games. We have Shining Force Exa and Shining Force Neo. Exa? Neo. Exa? Neo. And these are the PlayStation 2 games that I'm probably the most excited about. It is a series. It is uh, Suikoden, so we have Suikoden 3, 4, 5, and, uh, and Tactics. 
So we got three here. Four. Five. And Suikoden Tactics. I never knew that this one existed. Now the only one I'm missing, I think, is one. Alright, moving on. So not only did he send me PlayStation 2 stuff, he sent me some PlayStation 1 stuff. Pretty cool. We have uh, Warhawk, Greatest Hits. We have The Legend of Dragoon. And these PlayStation 1 games are actually in better shape than the PlayStation 2 games. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous, especially since these games are older. Um, plastic's in really good shape. Most of them aren't even cracked. All of them have... Most of them, I keep saying all of them, but most of them have their manuals. This scratch free. Um, JJ's brother in law took really good care of his games, and I'm really glad that uh, they're coming to me, uh, someone who's really going to take care of these games as well. Next up for some PlayStation 1 games, we have some Squaresoft slash Square Enix games. We have uh, Parasite Eve, Chrono Cross, Xeno Gears, and this still has the original uh, seal on the top. Never took it off. Saga Frontier, a whole bunch of Final Fantasy games, so I mentioned earlier we got 10 and 12, um, but we also have Tactics, Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9. So basically have 7 through 10, um, yeah, 7 through 10 and 12, including Tactics. Alright, a couple Mega Man games, uh, Mega Man X4 and X6, uh, X6 is in really good shape, uh, I like the fact that it still has the, the price tag on it, like the original GameStop price tag, uh, this one was $12.99 used, um, this one also has the price tag on it, it's $4.99 used, but I think that's mostly due to the fact that the case is cracked and does not have the manual. Last PlayStation 1 game received from Notorious JJ. Uh, this one is very cool. This one is is one of the ones I'm most excited about. It is Spyro, the Dragon Collector's Edition. Hold it up closer so you guys can see. It's very cool. It comes with three games. It comes with the first three, Spyro the Dragon, Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage, and Spyro Year of the Dragon, which is Spyro 3. And the cool thing about this is it comes in a cardboard sleeve. And if you look at the artwork, you can see something different. Above the top says Collector's Edition, and then on the side, instead of it being black or green, if it was Greatest Hits, it's white. Uh, and then on the back, you can see that it also says part of a set. So this is part of a set, not for individual return or exchange. Uh, and it says that in all three. So this is Ripto's Rage here, also says that. And then we have um, Year of the Dragon. So these are part of the set. It matches with the cardboard sleeve. Um, this is fairly hard to come by. I know that they have a few other collections. Like I think Crash Bandicoot has one. Um, and I think that would be very cool to acquire as well. Um, but this one is, is very cool. I'm glad to have the opportunity to own this from you know, Notorious JJ. So thanks a lot. All right, and the last of the games that came from JJ in this package, there's supposed to be more coming. Um, but the last of the games are GameCube games. So some Nintendo stuff. Uh, something a little bit more up my alley, even though I love PlayStation games. I'm more of a Nintendo guy, um, but we have some GameCube games. We have Super Monkey Ball 2, Greatest Hits. This one's missing the manual. We have uh, Metroid Prime 2, Mario Party 4, we have uh, Mario Superstar Baseball. I always loved all the Mario sports games. They're very fun. Somehow we ended up with two copies of Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. And one of them is the Black, uh, Black Label Edition. And then the other one's Player's Choice. We have Paper Mario. The Thousand Year Door Player's Choice. We have The Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time and Master Quest. This is a promo. Not for resale. Uh, essentially comes with the original Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, so you can play on GameCube, as well as the Master Quest, and the Master Quest is essentially um, a remastered version of Ocarina of Time, has in, uh, additional dungeons, not additional dungeons, but added elements to dungeons, um, you know, the pathways might be different, the enemies might be stronger, uh, and so on and so forth, so it's a Master Quest, it's more challenging than the original Ocarina of Time, so this one's very cool here. I have a copy, but it's sealed, 
and uh, it's very nice to have my own copy that's open so I can play it. We have The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, player's choice, but it's not, surprisingly. Um, when we came to check all the discs, when we opened this up, it came with the manual, but it actually came with two games, both of which are not Wind Waker. Uh, this game is Aggressive Inline, and then the other game that's inside the case is Mario Party 7. So although it did not come with Wind Waker, that's okay. came with two games in it. Um, nice little bonus, you know, and, and since it's Mario Party 7 and Aggressive Inline, uh, in exchange for Wind Waker, you know, it's not a bad trade. Alright, and the last game from the Epic Package from Notorious JJ is uh, a nice little gem. It's a nice little valuable one, somewhat rare. It's Skies of Arcadia Legends for GameCube. This one, um, I'm not quite sure if it's supposed to be a sequel or it's just a different game in the franchise or if it's a remastered edition of the original Skies of Arcadia um, for, I think, Sega Dreamcast. But either way, I've been meaning, you know, this, is, this game has been on my radar to, to add to my GameCube collection to give it a try and finally I have the opportunity thanks to JJ to add this to the collection give it a try and see if it's actually worth the money that people are paying for and those were all the games that JJ sent over in this epic package it was like a 25 pound package which is pretty crazy um, he normally doesn't ship games and he did a really good job of packing it so props to him thank you so much JJ if you're watching um, he says he has more he forgot to ship some stuff and uh, I'll be eagerly awaiting for that day to come when I open up the next package and get to show you guys what's inside that one. Um, aside from that, I did find some other things as well. Um, actually, kind of, but uh, I'll, I'll get into that later. The next thing I want to show you is another PlayStation 1 game. It's a, a game that I ordered off of eBay. And if you watched one of my earlier episodes when I talked about DDR, DDR is a game that my fiance and my fiance and I like to play together. And so I've been slowly acquiring other games in the franchise, and the next game we acquired is Dance Dance Revolution 3rd Mix. Um, the whole thing about you know buying all these different versions of DDR is because um, there's a lot of songs that are included in these games, but there's certain songs that we like more than others, of course. And uh, unfortunately, there's no one single collection that has all our favorite songs. So we have to buy multiple different mixes, you know, different games um, to be able to play each of those different songs that we like. So this one's the third mix. Uh, earlier, you know, this year I picked up uh, the fourth mix and fifth mix. Uh, I think now I'm missing the second mix. So um, we're well on our way to collecting all of the DDRs, the Japanese DDRs. Um, I think that they have a better soundtrack than the, the US versions. And actually, it's Emerald City Comic Con currently when I'm recording this video. And so I had a chance to go, I had a chance to attend. And surprisingly, Nintendo had a booth there. And it was very cool. Um, they had big giant displays. Uh, you can probably check out my Instagram or Facebook to see some of those pictures. It's, it was very cool. Um, but what they had there were a bunch of Switch kiosks and 3DS kiosks where you could go and demo games and the games that they had there were Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, it's the remastered edition from the Wii U, um, but they also added some other elements and other characters that made the gameplay a little bit more forgiving, a little bit more casual, a little bit more fun to play or, or welcoming to new Donkey Kong Country players. Um, and so we got a chance to play that and when we did play it they gave us a little prize which was cool. It's actually a little banana. This is a little banana. I still have it in the plastic packaging because I, I got it today, essentially, the day I'm recording. Um, and it's just foam. It's a little squishy toy, kind of like a stressed banana. Um, very cool. All we had to do was test out the game, and uh, they gave us one of these. The other game that they had there, I had a lot of fun with. I had played Donkey Kong Country before, so it was kind of familiar to me. But they had a brand new game there. It's Kirby Star Allies. And I'm a huge fan of Kirby. I'm a huge fan of the franchise. I've played almost every single game, beaten almost every single game. And uh, to be honest, even though I like Kirby and the franchise and the game, uh, the whole formula became kind of stale. And so when I tried out Star Allies, it was actually really, really refreshing, especially playing with four players. Uh, there's a lot of cooperation. There's 
there's a lot of times that you can mess with other players and uh, it's a whole lot of fun it's kind of they kind of revisit certain features uh, copy features of like a uh, crystal shards so Kirby 64 and you can combine uh, work with your teammates to combine abilities so you can get through certain secrets acquire more you know puzzle pieces or or beat bosses in a more efficient manner and so on and so forth so it was a lot of fun I really liked it um, it was probably the highlight of comic-con for me but um, upon playing that just like Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze they gave us a surprise as well so they gave us a little poster it's very cool I'll un unravel it if you can see it's rolled up so it's kind of hard to, to straighten out but it's just a uh, Kirby Star Allies it's got all the different enemies in there and Kirby on it uh, the whole reason why I think the whole reason why they call it Star Allies is because when you play as Kirby you can actually throw a heart at an enemy and you can recruit them to be on your team which is cool and you can have up to three other people and so a total of team of four um, so yeah, and, and you can have up to four players, so um, you can throw a heart, recruit an enemy, and then that enemy can become your second player who's sitting on the couch with you. It's a lot of fun. I highly, highly recommend it if you're into, um, you know, those fun, feel-good platformers that uh, don't take too much uh, effort, not effort, but too much, you know, stress to play. All right, and the last pickup of this week, I know it's been a long video, um, it's been a whole there's been a whole bunch of pickups but this is the last pickup of this week and it's all thanks to my fiance um, I love her so much because she always finds all the coolest things on uh, offer up Craigslist on eBay and, and and so on and so forth when I can't be on those sites so she found a Game Boy Color lot on offer up and she managed to negotiate a deal she didn't even let me know but um, she found a way to secure a deal um, and and find a way to I don't know organize everything so I ended up meeting up uh, the seller instead of her um, just because of convenience sake anyway I'm gonna get into it it's a Game Boy Color lot right came with this bag very cool um, came with six games games themselves are not that I don't know not that great but either way they're, they're games um, these aren't the highlight of the the lot so we have a bug's life RC Pro Am or Super RC Pro Am chess master game and watch gallery and all these Game Boy games are in really good shape actually Looney Tunes carrot crazy sorry it's not focusing there we go all right and the last Game Boy game of the lot is the sixth uh, but it's the coolest because it is a not for resale card. It's Ken Griffey Jr.'s Major League Baseball and not for resale. So if we look on the back, it says not for resale, demo game only. And then if we look on the front with the label, it says not for resale on the front. Come on, focus for me. There we go. Look at that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I don't have this not for resale cart yet, but she managed to see the red little box in the picture somehow and knew that she had to pick up this lot. But this is not the exact reason why we got the lot. That was just a cherry on top. This is the kicker here. This is a limited edition Game Boy Color, and this is the Tommy Hilfiger version. In awesome shape. Look at that, it's got the Tommy Hilfiger uh, logo as well as the Tommy Hilfiger uh, words printed on it on the front um, nothing else is special about this Game Boy Color except for that awesome shape has the battery cover the barcode um, is peeling up for just a tad you know but what else can you expect for a system that's over 20 years old I don't know but yeah this Game Boy Color lot was very cool find. Um, we were able to pick up pick up all of it for about $55, um, and it was very convenient because the seller was really nice, and uh, she was was willing to drive up to us uh, to essentially you know meet up with us. So very cool. And those were all my pickups for this week. 
and holy cow there's was, there was a whole bunch you can see all these stacks of games um, lots of great great games in this package that I got from Notorious JJ again check him out in the link links below um, super cool dude super cool streamer very entertaining so I highly recommend him uh, thanks to my fiance for always finding me the coolest stuff to show you guys in the video um, she's got some sort of magical power when it comes to that but if you did like this video please like comment and subscribe please check out some of my other videos I got tips and tricks gameplay other pickups as well as streams and with that being said we'll see you guys on the next one